Hey guys, I hope you're going to enjoy this video series. Uh, I meant to record a video at the beginning uh, before I started taking the bike apart. Uh, however, I didn't do that. So I'm going to actually attach some pictures of what I've done so far, uh, including, you know, working on the air box, removing the spark plugs and uh, a bunch of other things. So I'll include some pictures here. And uh, if you guys have any questions on what I did or what I ordered, leave it down in the comment box. Thanks. What's up guys, it's Michael here. So I am working on a new project bike. Uh, I picked this up recently over the weekend and I've started tearing it apart already. There's a few things. Um, I've already gotten the bike kind of torn down. Um, it's a disaster right now, but we're in the process of doing um, some things to this. I meant to start this video early when I first started tearing it down, uh, but I just, didn't happen. So anyways, we're right here. Uh, air box is off the bike. Tank is off the bike. Uh, we have the, uh, we have a new air filter on the way. This is, I don't know if it's OEM or whatever it is, but, uh, we have a new drop in can and filter coming and a bunch of other stuff. I have new NGK plugs coming from the bike. They're currently out. As you can see, I have the radiator kind of zip tied up because I had to pull this radiator back to get to the plugs. Uh, so that's all off. Uh, the bike's been cleaned, but this bike sat for about two, maybe two and a half years uh, with fuel in it. So it uh, it started and it ran, uh, but it wasn't happy about it. I do have a new starter relay coming for the bike as well, because uh, it's bad on this one. It just clicks. And uh, I have a new DID VX3 uh, 525 chain coming. Sprockets aren't tabling on this. So I just need to clean them up a little bit, <clears throat> a little more. Uh, but one thing I'm doing right now, and I looked everywhere on the internet for this information, uh, was the fuel pump or like the, the filter for these bikes, the, the uh, fuel tank filter for your, your fuel. Uh, so <clears throat> go over my workbench, which is a disaster right now. But this is your whole fuel tank in, or I'm sorry, your fuel pump in your sender. So when this is together, um, you have the fuel filters actually connected on there. But this is basically all in one piece, uh, you're gonna pull this out of the tank. So when you pull this out of the tank, you kinda gotta wiggle it and move it back and forth. It's kind of a pain. Um, don't be concerned on when I was taking mine out, this little board, the actual sender unit popped off. It's fine, it just, I think it's meant to because it pops right back into place when you have it out. Two wires you disconnect from this main base right here. I'm gonna clean all this up, but we'll come over here where did my fuel filter go? Oh, here it is. So this is the fuel filter. Now this thing was a bitch to find because I could not find any straightforward information online on like where it was, if you could even replace it. I couldn't find one in line. Uh, so I was like, okay, it has to be in the fuel center unit itself. So this little piece is lodged on to that little hole right there. And this little guide, you can see that little piece, pushes it out pushes over like that so you have to take this piece off there's three little clips or, or i'm sorry four clips that you have to very carefully wiggle off so you take that off and then you're going to take off this little ring <clears throat> which is on the bottom like so kind of like that you're going to pop this off then your fuel filter take a flathead and just carefully kind of push it this way Take like a flathead, uh, here I'll show you what I mean. Take like a flathead in between here and just kind of carefully push it until it pops off. So once you do that, then you can replace the filter. Um, I couldn't find this in the service manual. I got the service manual for the bike, couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so that's how you do a fuel pump filter change on a 2012 Yamaha FC8. And this would work for a 2011 or 2013 uh, or any of the other years as well it should. So. Uh, just very carefully, these are obviously, it's, it's not super brittle plastic, but be careful because yours could break easier. Just some rust uh, here and there. You can see like all oh, these bolts are all rusted. I have some spray coming that I'm gonna try and clean these bolts up. Uh, there's just surface rust everywhere because this bike sat near the water, uh, in a house by the water. So you can just see there's kind of corrosion everywhere. Uh, it was much, much worse when I first got it, but um, I am in the process of kind of cleaning it all up. I took off the air box too. I took this whole assembly off um, and just kind of started to clean and get all this. I mean, it looks better than it was, but it's still still a little bit of a mess. 
Um, <clears throat> whoever owned this, I think it's had a few owners at this point. Uh, they used a lot of like cheaper eBay parts on this thing. You can see like the tail light kit or the the um, tail tidy kit, just a basic bracket. There's no plate light. Um, it does have some sequential, uh, it has a sequential brake light and all that, um, but there's some wiring in here. Some people did some questionable wiring that I'm gonna try and clean up. This, if you know what this is for, comment. I think it's turn signals, but I'm not 100% sure. So and actually, you know what? That's probably, now that I think about it, that's probably a plate light. So um, it's probably the plate light. And um, other than that, it's got, a, I could put a brand new battery in it. So we're good there. I'm replacing the starter relay because that is bad in this bike. It just clicks. Um, but other than that, I mean, it runs, it drives. It does not, like I said, when I rode it home, wasn't very happy about it, uh, but it did clear up after a little bit. It looks to have decent-ish um, sprockets on it. So I don't think I'm gonna change the sprockets at the moment. Already took the chain off because the chain was <clears throat> absolutely destroyed. Uh, there's some other small things, just like, you know, there's someone decided they were going to get rid of the blinkers, and I, I am hoping that the OEM wiring is behind here, and I could just splice in some LED turn signals, so hopefully, hopefully all that's there, and I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> Still have the, the Z900 RS, but this is, uh, this is my project for now, so, but yeah, this is pretty much everything, guys. Um, I'm going to be making a build series slash, like, restore series of this. Um, I'll be making a video once I get the chain, doing all that, and the airbox, and uh, pretty much everything else. I have a bunch of parts coming in for this bike. Um, I have the new fuel filter, and then I also have a new gasket because this gasket right here sits at the bottom of the fuel tank uh, to seal it against this plate that sits on the bottom of the fuel tank. And uh, you can see it's got a good little gash crack in it. So. I'm gonna get, I ordered a new one of these. You would not believe this gasket. It's $26, not shipped. So expensive ass little gasket. So order a new one of those. Uh, like I said, a bunch of other small parts coming. Uh, I'm gonna do all, I have a new Motul uh, oil coming, the red, the 7100, uh, the good stuff. So, and I have a new OEM filter. Looks like whoever did this, it's just a, I don't know if it's an OEM. It doesn't look to be an OEM. You know, it looks like it's a high flow filter or something like that, but got a new OEM filter coming. Uh, probably gonna do a brake fluid flush on this thing as well. But this is currently how the bike sits. It's uh, in pieces, but it's gonna be a fun project. I'm gonna use it as a, a fun little just kind of toy bike um, when I don't wanna you know, mess around with my Z900 RS because I, I adore that bike. Um, and I try to keep it as possibly clean as possible and that bike is as perfect as it pretty much gets. So it's fun to have something that uh, needs a little bit of work and to learn my, my motorcycle uh, skills on. But I hope you guys look forward to this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment box. Thanks for watching.